everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be the look that I wore in one of my previous videos. It was my fall beauty and fashion favorites. This is pretty much the exact same look that I wore in that video. I'm also wearing the same tank top because why not? Um, my tank top is actually from Forever 21. It's just very simple. But I can't find a link online, but I purchased mine in stores and it was around $10. But I really like that olive green color. I think it looks nice with the looks. So this is a kind of fall daytime glam look. Um, I really like that lip color. It's been my favorite recently. This is the look. I really hope you will enjoy. If you haven't seen my fall beauty and fashion favorites video, I'll link it down below. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the YSL Touche Cla in the shade BD50 and then I'm going to use it with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So now I'm going to take my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to set my concealer. So I'm going to be using just a little bit of the three highlight shades, <laughs> mainly the middle one, so the yellow powder. So next I'm going to take a 150 brush from MAC, which I've been really liking this brush recently. And then I'm going to take the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan. Again, I've been loving this bronzer a lot. The color is just a really nice kind of tan color so I really like it. I'm just gonna use this to kind of bronze my skin a little bit. For contouring I'm gonna go back in the shade and light palette and I'm gonna use the middle shade right here and as for the brush I'm gonna be using a F05 from Sigma which looks like this it's supposed to be for contouring but personally I prefer to use an angle brush but mine I've used it a lot for blush recently so it's kinda it, I don't want to use it for contour because it has pink blush on it so I'm just gonna be using this one so I'm gonna take a little bit of it and start contouring Okay, now for blush, I'm going to be using the one that I featured in my fall beauty and fashion favorites. This is not the blush that I was wearing in that video, but um, I was wearing Dussard from NARS and it is discontinued, so I didn't want to use this in this video because you can't get it anymore. Um, so I'm going to be using my Chanel blush, which I've been loving for fall. Um, so this is in the shade Golden Sun. It's a very subtle color, but it looks really nice on the cheeks. It just adds a hint of pink. Okay, next for highlight, I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca. It's a really nice highlight. I really like it. Um, it's the one that Jaclyn Hill created. So I'm going to be using this with the big, well big, it's not that big, but a fluffy blush brush. This one is by Sonia Kashuk. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. And I'm just going to apply it like over my blush like this and then move the brush and apply the remaining on my cheekbone. Boss Makeup Artist actually talked about this technique in a video. I'll link it down below even though I talked about it in my fall beauty favorites. But um, yeah, I think like applying your blush like this looks really nice because... Not your blush, applying your highlight like this is looks really nice because it makes your whole cheek glow. But it's not too much product. Like it doesn't really look cake, like not cakey, but it doesn't accentuate my texture on my skin. It actually looks pretty nice opposed to just applying it like this. It doesn't look as harsh. Like this, like your whole cheek glows, but it's not too intense. I mean, I love highlight, so this is just really nice for me. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit on my chin, forehead, and Cupid's bow. Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D shade and light palette again. Um, and I'm going to start with this shade right here, the same one I used to contour. And with the E40 brush from Sigma, I'm just going to apply this in my crease. So basically, I'm going to be using... The mirror is so dirty. <laughs> I'm going to be using this palette for my eyes with something else on the lid, but... This palette is so great because you can use it for so many things. And I'm going to take just a little bit of the 
darker color and apply this again with the same brush in my outer corner. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking this eye polish from Pure Cosmetics in the shade uh, Silk. So basically this is kind of like a cream eyeshadow but it dries really quickly and it doesn't crease which I really appreciate because I said that before but my eyeshadow will crease really badly um, and I didn't even prime my eyes today which I probably should have but even if I don't prime like this will not crease on me. It's a really nice copper color it looks so pretty on the lid and yeah love this color for fall. So I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Next, I'm just going to go back in with this color and add a bit more in my crease. Now it's time for the eyeliner, the crucial part. Um, so I'm going to be using the black eyeliner from The Balm. I believe it's called Schwing. Looks like that. Well, the packaging of The Balm. I just received an awesome package from them. Um, so yeah, I'm testing out a couple of products. I'm just going to take a business card, align it. Here, and then I'm totally going to be out of the frame for this, so excuse, but I have to look in my mirror. Okay, now moving on to the lashes. I'm going to curl them using my Shiseido Eyelash Curler, and then I'm going to apply the Dior Show Lash Plumping, yeah, Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. So while the primer on my lashes dries, I'm going to move on to brows. So I'm going to be using the Brow Drama Pro Palette from Maybelline. I have the shade Dark Brown, Deep Brown. So I'm just going to brush them using the spoolie. I really need to work on my brows. But I feel like I just worked on them and they look really nice for like a week. And now I still have to work on them. <laughs> so then I'm just going to mix the wax and the powder together. I'm just using the brushes that come in the kit. I really like this um, little palette because since I mix, sorry my phone, since I mix the wax and the the powder it like sticks to my brows and like they look pretty nice now I feel. the lips I've been loving Whirl the lip pencil and lipstick from MAC it's just like the perfect color it looks so good like when I bought it I didn't know I would love it as much because it's quite a, it's kind of a brown color <laughs> but I really really like it and I think it looks really nice like it's still a wearable color for me but um yeah I really like it so I'm gonna start by lining my lips with Whirl the lip pencil not the best at overdrawing my lips I feel like it's because I have a very kind of defined cupid bow, cupid's bow, but what I like to do is go like on my lip line here. So it makes them look a little fuller, not fuller, but more defined, I guess. And then I'm going to be using the Whirl lipstick from MAC. This is a matte formula. Love the formula. It's really good. And I love the color too. Now let's move on to mascara. I'm going to use the Lash Sensational from Maybelline, but first I'm going to curl my lashes again. I really like the Lash Sensational on its own. It's my favorite mascara, I would say. But pair with the the liner smudge a little bit, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. But um, pair with the Dior Lash Primer, it just makes sure that my curl will stay on all day. Like my lash curl, <laughs> my lashes will stay curled all day, and it just makes my lashes look a bit more dramatic. 
which I really like. So you could definitely wear lashes with this look, but um, since this is more like a daytime glam look, um, I don't really wear lashes in the daytime, so that's why I just wanted to make this look a bit more wearable. As I was trying to fix my eyeliner, this happened. <laughs> So that is the final look. I really hope you enjoy. Also, let me know how you feel about the brown lips. I personally really like them recently. It's pretty much what I've been drawn to. So that is pretty much it. All the products that I use in this video will be listed in the info box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, my social media links will be listed down below if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and all that. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.